Greetings, YouTubers. This is Vengeance from 1979. Doing a little backtracking research reading on uh, the JFK assassination and following the Edwin Walker lead, who was supposedly uh, a target of Lee Harvey Oswald in an assassination attempt. I'm reading up on him on Wikipedia, and yes, I already know that Wikipedia cannot exactly be trusted, albeit a lot of people do reference it. And I'm looking at it, and I'm scrolling down, and let's see, I jumped straight to the assassination attempt, because that's what I was looking up, and I get down here to this paragraph here, before the Kennedy's assassination, Dallas police had no suspects in the Walker shooting. But Oswald's involvement was suspected within hours of his arrest. Suspected within hours. The note Oswald left uh, for Marina wasn't found until December 1963. I'm kind of wondering about that. It says, how could he be suspected within hours of his arrest for trying to assassinate Walker? What would tie him into that? Within hours. Down here, they're talking about a bullet that apparently was found at the assassination, uh, the scene of the assassination attempt. And it said it was too badly damaged to run conclusive ballistic tests. Okay, I could buy that. A bullet that misses its target and bounces around on a bunch of other crap. And could easily be unrecognizable. But here's the killer. The thing that makes me go, what? You know, besides the other stuff. What? It's December 63. Um, here is the killer. Neutron activation test. Get that. Neutron activation test later determined that it was extremely likely the bullet was a, from a I'm not sure how to pronounce this Carcano manufactured by uh, the Western Cartridge Company same ammunition used in the Kennedy assassination that was neutron activation tests uh, well, I wondered what that was. What's a neutron activation test? So I looked that up. Neutron activation. Neutron activation is a process in which neutron radiation induces radioactive radioactivity in materials. Alright. So what they did was they took a bullet from a crime scene, made it radioactive, and somehow that was supposed to tell them exactly where that bullet came from. What kind of crap is this? Some sort of pseudoscience to keep people running in circles? I checked out the footnote down here. It's testimony of Dr. Vincent P. Gwynn, HSCA Hearings, Volume 1, page 502. And shot down to there, and that's right here, testimony of Dr. Vincent P. Gwynn. Okay, so I tried to open that up to see what kind of guy we're dealing with here. And it's taking us to the AARC library dot 
org. I didn't know what that was <clears throat> at the time. And I'm getting no response from them. So I took the address, copied that, went to a home page, and did a search. I don't get the same thing as I did on Google. So we'll shoot down to Google real quick. Missed it. And we'll paste it in there. Do a search. And I'm still not getting anything that it said earlier. So I'll just erase that. Ah, here it is. The Assassination Archives and Research Center was founded in 1984 to provide a permanent organization which would acquire, preserve, and disseminate and that's where it runs out apparently they have JFK assassination reports but if you click on that or you click on this it's currently down so I'll give up on that real quick backtrack testimony of Dr. Vincent P. Gwynn using neutron activation which essentially makes material radioactive told them that golly gee whiz that bullet's radioactive now so it must have been from uh, Oswald's rifle just an item of note something interesting to pass on this is at the Wikipedia under Edwin Walker. Feel free to look it up. This is Vengeance from 1979. Signing off.